All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. And if you're noticing I don't look very put together today, that's because this video wasn't something I planned on making. Um, you read the title, you know what's going on. I wish it was clickbait. I'm here to tell you, it's not. So I recently just got back from like a four day little vacation, five day, whatever, you get the point. And I noticed that the water level on my tank was really low. And I'm like, that's weird. It must have evaporated really fast. Until I was looking around the aquarium, and I found this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the video up now. So I noticed the entire base of where the tank meets the stand was wet. I checked all the seams, I checked all the edges, I didn't see any cracks, but some way, somehow, water is no longer in the tank and it's rushing down onto the stand, which is not great. Um, this tank is very old, it's a custom tank. I think the person who had it before me had it for years. It honestly has been on its last leg for a while, but it beginning to leak is definitely an issue and we need to get this handled as soon as possible. Unfortunately, I don't know what tank I want to put there, so I'm not going to rush out and buy a new tank immediately. But I guess the first thing is we have to figure out something temporary for these fish. So let's go ahead and check out the tank and I'll show you a little more of what's going on. This is the tank in question. It's my 36 gallon planted aquarium. Uh, it's pretty grown in. It's pretty established, unfortunately. But as you can see, the water level is a little bit low. Now, if I get a flashlight on it, you can probably see the water reflection over here. So there's some right there under that stand. And then if we look way back there, which is very hard for you to see, you can see it better in the video, but that stand is just all wet, which is um, really not good. So upon further investigation, the back corner is actually leaking water out, um, which is not good. Uh, as you can see from this video. So like I mentioned, we're gonna get the fish out first. I'm gonna grab the two angelfish, put those in the 55 gallon tank, put the high fin bandit shark in the koi pond, you'll see all that, and just start draining this tank before it drains itself. Here's a great time to give a little update of what's going on. So I moved all of the plants and a majority of the smaller fish, I would say, into this tank. That's the same filter that was on their real tank. Um, but this temporary tank is just gonna be kind of run off that same filter and then all the plants and the fish are in there. For the tank itself, um, I'm just gonna finish draining it and then probably just let it sit here drained where it can't harm anything while I figure out what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. I moved a majority of the larger fish into this 55 gallon tank. As you can see, there's a ton of fish in here. There already was a lot of fish in here, but now we're kind of combining tanks. And honestly, at this point, this is probably gonna turn into the new aquarium. Um, similar to the last tank, I'm gonna move just all that wood and all that rock probably into this tank eventually. Obviously, it's gonna take me a few days, but I need to decide if I'm just keeping this tank or if I do wanna go ahead and purchase another tank to keep in the other room. For now though, all the fish are gonna be in here and hopefully we'll be getting along good. I was still worried about some of the smaller tetras in that larger tank, so I kept them in here for now with the plants, but really this is all temporary and they should be in a permanent home soon. Um, for now though, we just gotta finish draining this tank. current state of everything a little bit later we have completely emptied the tank and it's pretty apparent why this tank started leaking as you can see those silicone seals are so old and just literally just dead I don't know what other way to say it they're all starting to peel back and recede from the glass and all that condensation out of there was from water sitting between the stand and the tank we slide the tank back I already dried most of it up but as you can see there was just a ton of sitting water in there I'll actually try to put in some pictures that I took but yeah, it was this tank's time to go, as you can see here. Now, we pretty much dealt with this issue. We still have um, that to deal with, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this. I'm thinking about moving most of the plants and the hardscape to the 55 gallon tank, but I really just don't know what to do with these smaller tetras. Uh, I think in the meantime, I'm gonna start just getting some of this decor out of this tank and into the 55 and just take things slow. So I'll probably work on that over the next hour or so. I will definitely keep you guys updated, but as of now, the tank's empty, all the fish were saved, um, they're just kind of dispersed among various tanks right now. Day two. So we are back, and I'm happy to report it is the next day. Uh, as far as I know, all of the fish made it. The tank is now completely drained and emptied, I'll show you that in a second. 
Um, we did have to move some fish around, but it really all worked out fine. At least it is temporarily. I do now have a big parrot cichlid I don't know what to do with, but we're going to figure him out soon. Um, let's go over and look at the tank first because I think that's the most pressing issue here. So obviously, as you can see, it's completely empty, which is unfortunate because it was a really nice, really pretty tank. Um, sadly, it is just, it's time to be decommissioned, if you will. Luckily, I did have this 55 gallon tank to put a majority of the fish in. As you can see, all those uh, tetras back there are all from the tank we just saw, as well as some of the fish down here. Uh, everyone seems to be getting along good for the most part. I unfortunately did have to remove the big orange parrot cichlid that was in here because he would continue to chew and eat up these plants. As you can see, I brought over the driftwood as well as the majority of the live plants that were in the other tank. So we do have a kind of interesting scape going on right now. A lot of this was just thrown together last minute because when you have a leaking tank, you don't exactly have time to make everything perfect. However, uh, given the circumstances, I think it turned out uh, as good as it could. I guess I should also mention that the three koi that were in that 55 gallon tank as well as the high fin banded shark from the 36 gallon tank moved into the koi pond. Uh, you can see there's some of the smaller koi and the high fin banded shark is actually right there uh, swimming around and doing good. So I thought I would give you an update on those guys um, just to make room for some of the other fish. They did have to come join the koi pond. However, it's no problem. They were actually destined to go in the koi pond eventually. They were supposed to grow up a little bit first. Obviously that didn't happen, but regardless, they're still going to thrive in here with all of the other koi. And this pond is looking pretty stocked now. As you can see, we have a ton of fish in here, which is awesome. So I'm not quite sure when a replacement tank will come if one ever does. Uh, so for now, these smaller tropical fish will all be living in this 55 gallon tank. As I mentioned, everyone's playing along nice and everyone is getting along very well. Unfortunately, the parrot cichlid did have to be relocated into this temporary tank. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with him yet. Uh, unfortunately, he likely will have to be rehomed, which is sad because I've had this guy for a while. He's just not compatible with the stuff I keep anymore and I don't really have a suitable home for him. He can't live in this 20 gallon tank for that much longer. So he's just gonna chill in here for the time being and we'll eventually have to figure out what we're gonna do with that guy. Now that everything's cleaned up though, the tank is probably gonna just need to be thrown away at this point. It's old, it's dirty. Like I mentioned, it's just time to get rid of that tank, unfortunately. However, that is gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, coming along with me on this fun little journey, unexpected, but it all worked out fine. It could have been worse, that tank could have cracked and exploded, that would have been a lot more problematic than what happened. Um, obviously I didn't like it leaking, but I think that was probably one of the more calm ways this could have happened, to be honest with you. I think I caught it just in time, not very much water was actually able to leak out of the tank and onto the floor, so it could have been worse, like I said. Now in situations like this, I'm super happy that I have the other tank set up and ready to go, and even the 20 gallon temporary tank, because if I didn't have that equipment, this would have been a lot more difficult and stressful than it was. So that is just proof that having too many tanks is never a bad thing. Um, but that is gonna be it for this week's video. Hopefully next week's video will be a little a little less stressful than this one, uh, maybe a little more planned, <laughs> but I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and good bye.